Hey everybody, you never know. Let's just start it right there, you never know. This could be the one. It also could not be, I gotta tell you, 99 gold for a rare relic. Puts us in an interesting spot, doesn't it? If our HP is high, would we rather get a relic? I, I usually insult the shovel and never use it. Maybe the time has come for that to change. I, I see a course I enjoy over here. We're just gonna do our best. I, I think, like, honestly, the, uh, the nicest thing I can say, the easiest thing I can say, is that the 9 plus 24 gets us the kill. Um, the, the, we have a very little, <laughs> hold on. I think a Sands of Time can function. We, we need one big damage dealer. Early upgrade, don't mind if I do. Um, the number one <clears throat> way that I can make my life easy on Ascension 20 is just to remember that it's not, oh, I forgot we were weak, um, is just to remember that it's actually not easy at all. Um, and have some, you know, give myself permission to make some mistakes now and then. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. I'll take a bowling bash, but I am eager. Eager. A lot of question marks on the way up, huh? Uh, to get some extra defense. Clap, clap, clap. Defense. Clap, clap, clap. If we could get that happening, I'd be, I'd be pretty stoked. That's why we like a Sands of Time early. I'll take an empty body on this one. I think I should be digging. Seven block? Oh, dude, I, I love it. I think I should be digging. Now that we have an upgraded eruption, that seems advisable to me. Hopefully you buff, you attack next turn. And as a result, we feel okay with this. Because at any point, if we can just pop out, of, this is exactly what we wanted. Basically, if we use our miracle next turn, you're dead. We don't even have to use our miracle. Look at that. Don't need the potion. Although I will say, to be honest, regen beats cultist potion, IMO. Talk to the hand. There's a lot of value there. Let's get this started. We got pair. 10 max HP. This is fine, actually. Um, most important thing here, we want to draw uh, Sands of Time as early as possible. Mission failed. I'm thinking, okay? I think we can play Eruption, Sands of Time, Liquid Memories, Sands of Time, and then, oh, we should have played Bowling Bash there, but hope to draw Sands of Time. Uh, we did, but that's actually not how you can play it because you need you need the energy, but that's fine. Blood Vial's good. Give me a Wallop for some extra defense. Clap, clap, clap. Defense. Who would have thought? I'll, let's do it this way. We take more damage against, uh, you know, two enemies than we do against one big boss. Little surprising. Little surprise, but you know what? This is what this relic is doing for us. It's holding us in there. We can do it like this. We can do it like this. We can do it like this and then just store this Sands of Time to kill you next turn easily. No potion, no potion required. I really actually like a conclude. I've come to enjoy this immensely. Let's get an oddly smooth stone, and then let's toss another relic on here. Strike dummy. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I feel about that one, but that's okay. Bad start. Early Sands of Time? Mm, bad start. Go ahead, hit me for 16 or whatever it is you do. As long as we draw Sands of Time here, we don't sweat it. Beautiful. You're dead. Went totally fine. Dream catcher. Doesn't seem likely to be uh, used that much. We already have one card that ends your turn. Let's not cannibalize here. Let's let's just let Conclude do what it does. A Gremlin Horn. 
I have found some gold. Let's leave. <laughs> just to just to be on the safe side. Seems sensible to me. Now I know what you're thinking, because I'm thinking it too. We have eight relics. At what appears to be like the end of the first floor. How is how is such a thing coming to pass? It's pretty amazing, huh? Check this out. You want you want to see amazing? You want to see something incredible? You want to see something that'll knock your freaking socks off? How about this? How about one of these? Follow it up by one of these real quick. That's right. That's gremlin horn. That's gremlin horn, dude. You just accept it because that's the that's the way of the world. That's the way it goes. Keep this sands of time out here. We're gonna kill you. This is this is going better than it has any right to. Regal pillow. Certainly don't need two concludes. I I mean we're gonna really go fight the boss with a seven. Uh, excuse me, with a seventeen card deck. I think so. Bottled flame. Um, into I I really gotta respect the the early sands of time. But an, an early conclude to wipe AoE a little better is nice, but I, I really doubt that that's going to actually um, come in handy against, like, second floor bosses or second floor enemies and, and greater. Um, talk to the hand is a fit for sure, but we don't really hit too much yet. We don't have, like, flurry of blows. I, I think Sands of Time to get it out there ASAP is, is a positive for us. Let's, um, let's drink our milkshake. As we are, as we are want to do. Sixty damage. It's a little hot. <laughs> There's eighteen block. Now we're taking less. You know what? Let's get this talk to the hand out there. I think on any long fight, we just want Sands of Time to go down to uh, to a zero cost. Because if we can get it to cost zero and then start whipping it around, like, that's that's a dream. That's a dream in my world. Now, we'd love to, I was just going to say, we'd love to have Eruption going with it. Well worth it to do the, the 40 damage required here. We also take zero. Now, draw Sands of Time in a turn. Not th you don't have to do it on this turn. That's fine. Um, we're going to get Wallop next turn. Let's uh, let's not exit stance then, because I'm I'm actually pretty happy where we stand. We're not gonna do 74 damage to you in all likelihood. Twenty-two. Eh, I I can live with this. I'm embarrassed. Maybe we should have played it a little, a little easier. But whatever, whatever. You're dead. Easy, and we're like what eight minutes in. My God. Now here, it's an interesting conundrum, right? Devil form is pretty incredible. Devil form, it's a, it's a great thing. But so is a spirit shield. Devil form is, is really hard to play on the second floor. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna take the spirit shield over the devil form. I'm gonna take a cursed key. And I'm not saying we got this locked up, because I think that that's insanity. But I'm feeling pretty good after the first floor. I I do feel like um, we we have an okay setup for elites, but also getting to campfires, having taken as little damage as possible, is is an awesome thing for us to get free relics. Basically, I like it. Uh, big money, big prizes. I love it. Let's pop a potion here. I'm, I'm a little frightened. We don't create cards, so we'll just use a foresight. I really think that a power potion as the Watcher tends to not be as good as I would like it to be. I apologize if, if that if that ruffles your feathers. If well, you know what? If that ruffles your feathers, then uh, gobble gobble, as I've always said. What, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> what, you got a problem? You know what would be a sick relic? Ice cream. For those situations where we kill an enemy with conclude. Well. 
You're gonna be very strong next turn. Um, but, but could bank the energy for the next turn? We love a bowling bash. We lo I think we love all, all of these cards. You're not gonna hear me say this too much. I feel like a runic dome would really hit the spot. Okay. Like, uh, not Runic Dome, sorry, that's just asinine. That's, like, idiotic. I apologize for even suggesting it. Um, Runic Pyramid. To be able to keep our cards up. We gotta be a little careful. I think a, a Crush Joints fits here. We gotta get you quickly. This is why the Sands of Time early is, like, so important. We still won't be able to kill you. We need 30 extra damage on top, even if we were in the... The Wrath Stance. I, I really don't want to hit you for 20. It's just not even, like, close to good enough. But we could kill you next turn. Um, we're not going to kill you this turn. <laughs> Get used to, to that. Um, 53. I think we're better off just playing two blocks. We take no damage. We're really close. Yeah, we're there. That's a good proof of concept. That can be a tough fight. I think we could take advantage of a Fear No Evil. And then we got 284 gold. Let's hit this shop up. Toy Ornithopter strikes me as one of those things, like a, like a duplication potion first. Like, what would you think there? Two Sands of Time, but the second one wouldn't even be, like, duplicated. Uh, or it, it wouldn't be Bottled Flame. I think a Toy Ornithopter is a really interesting idea. Because it also gives us sustain to use on the A20 double boss fight when we don't get the rest in between. Now, thinking of the bosses that we have available on this uh, floor, maybe maybe a, a, a bottled miracle potion. I, it works pretty well against uh, Sneko as well. I'm feeling like... Like, we made the right decision, and anything could happen on this run, obviously, but I'm feeling like we made the right decision uh, to dig as much as possible. This is our first turn that I would say, like, it actually just kind of blows. But it's okay. We got some gray stuff. Like, I mean, empty body is free. Are we... <laughs> Do we need to play Empty Body? Not really, right? Like, we're kind of more interested in maybe just, like, a, a Spirit Shield then. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Then you would play that anyway, and you'd still play this. But, um... When, when we draw Eruption, you die, basically. We're gonna need... I would love if we could make you vulnerable and then also wallop, but it's not happening. Um, and we need to play wallop. It's our only other block. So go ahead and take one of those. We're taking 12 damage. It's really not that bad. I think we, we're, we're not going to be... You no, know, we are going to be weak next turn. That's fine. I think we just store this Sands of Time. We're still, like, so close to Lethality. We just need the... some point, we just, uh, we just kind of need the... Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this part yet, but if we could get the uh, Eruption on the same turn, 22 plus 7. I mean, now, like, we, we don't need to wait for it anymore. We're, we're still doing okay. Especially because we got this regen potion just just chilling. Six and six. Not quite enough to get us there. That's funny. <laughs> we we have fun here. Um, gets us pretty close though. There we go. There it is. Just a heavy card. Maybe a, another decent attack, like a carve reality that creates smites for us. This fight usually goes long enough. I feel like we could probably pop this. And then... An eruption... The, you might... You might get upset with me on this one. I really feel like... Making sure we can wipe this enemy... Out early... Is of the utmost importance. We do have... We have some stance disablers. But... 
I do worry that, like, if we didn't play that, we, we could find ourselves in in a nasty spot pretty easily. So our whole goal right now... We're still okay. Our whole goal right now is to try to create a situation where we feel capable of digging on our next... Uh, this is looking unlikely now. <laughs> we feel capable of digging on our next uh, campfire, which would then allow us to get a relic in advance of the elite fight. This, this didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. Um, we need to get to 18 block, ideally. We can definitely do it. We have, we have two attacks that retain as well, so you can just simmer here. 52 HP. I'd have to see what we get from uh, a potion perspective. Nothing. Okay, that's easy enough. Third Eye is a great card. I'm... Believe it or not, I'm willing to try. I think Bronze Scales is a decent pull there. This could be bad. Honestly, genuinely could be really bad. We need to talk to the hand ASAP. We also need to kill you quickly, which is, like, the scariest part. We need to see... Uh, Spirit Shield coming next turn would, would be a mighty large help. And we're saving our, our good retained cards to actually, like, kill you. Um, I really don't want you to hit me for 56. So I think we'll start... <laughs> something like, eh? Yeah? Um, can we afford to whip back around one more time? Whether you can afford it or not, I think you kind of got to do it. Twenty-four damage done once. It's not that bad. We'll put up as much block as possible. We're going to take three damage and get a wound. But now we're very close to lethal. We're also very close to being dead ourselves, and we'll probably die because we drew a single defend. So this is a turn where we really gotta play every attack that could possibly keep us alive. You're doing 42 damage. I mean, to say I'm annoyed would be a bit of an understatement. We have exactly 42 HP. That one will keep you up at night. It's cool. Like, I mean, I guess I could have added more defense to my deck. Um, knowing that they always sort to the bottom like that in pivotal moments. I'm mostly just being salty, but like, it's a bit, I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit of a kick in the, in the teeth. We had such a good run there going too. Now I got, I'm going to be insufferable, just so you know. So you better prepare yourself for that. Eruption gives us enough here. Judgment, by the way, is a good card to get early. I guess, it, it, let's not focus on the negatives. Like, we can now build our deck in what we consider to be, like, a more traditional, like, me sort of way. You know, we, we, we're focusing predominantly now on, on deck construction, getting cards, you know, upgrading those cards at campfires rather than getting relics. But I, I did think we... I'll take a flurry of blows for sure. I did think we had something pretty decent going on there. The You tried, you failed. The lesson learned is pun intended. And also the lesson learned is never try, apparently. No, just remember, it's hard. It's a hard game. It's not an easy game. Uh, we'll, we will take a battle him. We haven't had one in a while. That might be responsible for our <laughs> successes lately. Uh, I love this. We will definitely just take the... A simple curse. First upgrade is always going to be eruption unless something comes out of the woodwork. 43. Oh, baby. That's gotta hurt. I really actually like two flurry of blows. It's a bit spicy. I would never deny such a thing.
I think we take a chance on an early Sneko. Just, just see how the mood strikes us. So this becomes free. Uh, this costs one. This costs one. I really thought there was a chance. Maybe we could get to that judgment. That's okay. Being an eruption for turn one against this guy is honestly, genuinely not a big deal. I think we let him hit us for 16. And then we just hope to get like two attacks. That's an attack. We sadly have to do this, even though it's gonna hurt. And we're gonna rely on killing you next turn, so this shouldn't be too bad. We gotcha. I don't know why it's, it, it's looking a little laggy here, but don't sweat it. Double defend upgrade. That's actually my bad, because we should have uh, looked at the card first. It might not have changed the causality of the situation, but still. You can do some good work here with, with an early judgment. Unfortunately, uh, we shouldn't have exited the stance so willy-nilly there, just to, just to prove we could. Uh, unfortunately, and you're seeing the, the this is like case in point right here. Um, mostly, I would say that it, it, it works best um, to have the judgment when you uh, have the ability to draw attacks. First turn, no attacks. Okay, no problem. Second turn, no defense. All right, something of a problem, unfortunately. Third turn kind of came together. I'm not going to be too disappointed by our third turn. <laughs> We're taking seven. It's actually... Oh, uh, you know... No, we couldn't have killed you. You would have been alive with one. So that's okay. That actually went way better than I thought it would. Nunchuck, uh, being reasonable, probably will never use this on purpose, but that's... It's fine. Uh, signature move is a really dangerous card. Alpha doesn't really fit what we're doing here. I mean, I have to be honest, like, the Sands of Time is a little slow. Let, let's take the signature move and we'll rely on, on a little bit of luck maybe helping us out here. Early Eruption. We definitely want uh, an early... Nope. Uh, battle him as well. Okay. We took, we took a chance. That's a really, really poor uh, first turn. We need, we need a lot better than that. We have to play this. This is okay if we just draw a judgment and another attack. We're not living. Hold on. It's getting worse. <laughs> okay, we'll run it back. <clears throat> <clears throat> don't, don't, you don't have my permission to talk to me yet, okay? Let, let me go, I'm, I'm in my groove right now. Now, where are we going? In theory, there is the chance for that free elite fight. I don't sweat it, man, because I feel like getting three cards, and I, I love a third eye, even though I've skipped it a couple times here. Getting three cards without having to risk losing even a little bit of HP actually makes a pretty big difference. I I totally think you can run a second, third eye. We'll just never take another one for the rest of the, the game here. Dunk -a -dunk, dunk -a -dunk. Let's take a wave of the hand. I'm not fully convinced that we've done great work so far. Um, Namely because we have not added an attack to our deck, but it's very simple. We'll just get an attack this time. Let's Miracle and Third Eye get rid of these defends, so we're more likely to draw two strikes next turn. I'm willing, you're not going to believe me, but I'm willing to put in the work for these. Mm, no, thank you. I'm willing to put in the work for these, uh, these scries, if you'll believe it or not. Meditate can be good, but a flurry of blows, I think we gotta we gotta ride it. What do we want to see? Vigilance wave of the hand is not uh, I don't think it's good enough for us. Right now our, our kill condition is basically just uh, drawing eruption. And then hopefully being able to stay in the stance for a little bit. 
powerful. Next turn, we want as many strikes as possible. Like, Scry is so powerful. I think the reason I never respected it before is because I, I was really bad at the game and didn't know what I was doing. A little risky, but... Um, that's alright. You know what? We could get a bowling bash off of this. It's a great time for a dex potion. Um, do we want to be in Vigilance as much as we want to see what we're getting next turn? I think the answer is no. Let, let's take a look at this colorless potion real quick. It'll be free, right? <laughs> it's right? Yes, okay. Well, in that case, let's let's play this. That way we at least get that free attack out there. What are you playing first? Wave of the Hand is actually like a pretty good get. We definitely want to see an eruption and a, a foreign influence, sure, is fine as well. Um, we take no damage thanks to that one turn of weakness. Pretty nice, actually. You play a third eye, get that garbage out of there. Foreign influence. Uh, because it costs, I think we're going to live with the uppercut here. So let's do Flurry of Blows, Eruption. It's a bit of a, a bit of a whiff. But it's okay. I, there's a chance we kill you next turn. We are taking 11 damage here that didn't have to happen. We could have played our, our, our weakness for sure. Don't want to see him. Not taking damage. Let's hit you. We just need like two attacks next turn of almost any ability. It's okay. <laughs> Life goes on. Now we need like one attack next turn of any ability. It didn't have to be any ability. It kind of had to be that, so I appreciate it. Okay. Mayhem eruption, we kill you. Mm, alrighty. One more turn. That's fine. One more turn. Never hurt, hurt anybody. Third eye. Make sure you get a strike next turn. It's a lot of dazes, okay? There we go. I told you. That was just one turn off. Tungsten rod, kind of sick. Tungsten rod is kind of sick. Let's get a, a cut through fate. Uh, and now we got some serious scrying potential going on here. I'll turn my trusty frying pan into a scrying pan. We need to get an eruption as soon as is humanly possible. It, it, it like There's no contest. Like It had to happen in order for us to possibly finish this fight. This has to destroy you. <laughs> You're going to do 16 damage. As long as we draw an attack next turn, we don't care. That was 15 damage, technically. We almost didn't, but we did. Preserved insect, very nice. Talk to the hand, still totally fits. Centennial puzzle. It's good stuff. Honestly, go ahead and heal me, which now makes me feel like I can definitely get this eruption upgraded. And, and now we're kind of off to the races here, I think. You always want to see early here a foreign influence that has a, an AoE associated with it. That's why we're, like, we're being probably even more aggressive than we should be, but we'll get, we're going to get an insane draw thanks to the Centennial Puzzle. Okay, so... Um, I mean, Bludgeon is just good. I think we will hit you, erupt upon you, Hit you. You're, you're doing 20. Let's just make sure you're dead. And then... I think it's worth a miracle into a third eye. And we're, we're just trying to basically maximize the chances we draw a single attack. And, and we did. That went super well. Omamori. Very interesting. Now, what, what... We have so much block. I think we can say no. We're, we're getting a little block heavy, or perhaps even like a lot block heavy. Talk to the hand is great. I think wave of the hand becomes substantially more playable once it actually lasts two turns. Like that seems like a clutch upgrade to me. Um, it's a nasty turn. Definitely, we do want to see foreign influence. Let's get a third eye up there as well. So we're gonna struggle in in one specific way right now. We don't have good attacks. 
Yikes. Um, that does not help, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're very... Uh, we're light on the attack front right now. I don't think I don't see a point to making you weak. Cause we're we're just gonna flip you. Actually went super well. But uh, it's not gonna work as well against bosses. And again, it's it's a little block heavy. Um But I still I feel like the third eyes are just like quite good. Talk to the hand really helps us out against this boss specifically, so now I think it's the right play. Uh, not a good turn for Wave of the Hand. Does get us over, though. You gotta use your brain on this one. I'll, I'll take a third eye for the next turn. I think we'll still set up a talk to the hand, even though it causes us to take one damage. It's not a daily. Plus, hey, thanks for the draw, dummy. Um, let's see what we get out of a foreign influence here. I could I could be persuaded to like a streamline. It'll get cheaper and and above all else we kind of need attacks. So we'll take one for playing it, but that's I oh but we'll actually we'll take zero because of tungsten rod. So our attacks uh, don't cost us anything. Well, as long as we're putting up enough block, I guess. Cut through fate. Yeah, let, let's get that cut through fate. I don't think we need to defend. I know we're going to need defend next turn, but we, a basic defend is not as good as we need it to be. Sure. Um, if I erupt, that's 9 damage, plus 24, plus 14. We can do this. Like, actually do this. We just need to draw an attack. We didn't draw an attack, so in that case... We actually just use this potion. I, I, I had a contingency prepared for every situation. Don't kid yourself. You're playing checkers, I'm playing chess. We are not the same. So this is free. Uh, but then you don't have the energy required to exit your stance. Did you consider that you don't have the energy required? I, I'm playing checkers, you're playing chess, okay? Did you miss that part? Next turn, we wish for you to die. Maybe keep that vigilance up just in case. <laughs> I'm somewhat confident, but there's there's a little fear that exists as well, I would say. Uh, and there you go. Okay, so that went pretty well. Let's take a, a moment before we even anchor to what's coming out there. What do we need? Uh, cheap attacks. A scry payout, like every time you scry, gain block. Or damage. Some kind of damage would, would definitely be super helpful. Um, I, I think we can make a lesson learned work. It's an attack. We we don't necessarily need mantra. We're already good on block, but I love spirit shield. But, but lesson learned is nice here. We have Omamori. I think we have to go cursed key. I, w I will say that I think that the, the miracle water, whatever it's called, I think it's really good. In some situations, like on some fights specifically, I actually think it's better... Um, than having consistent energy, like one consistent energy. Because, like, for example, being able to use all your miracles to get a devil form off on the first turn, if you could somehow get it to be innate via, like, a bottled tornado or something, is... I mean, I'm just gonna say it is Liddy. Oh, the foreign influence could enable this lesson learned. I don't know how much damage this fool has, man. How much HP do you have? I'm not skipping. I'm not skipping. 13? Oh my god, it's actually perfect. Uh, I definitely do think it's worth a miracle into third eye. Being able to set your, uh, your stance for the next turn. Hold on, aren't these guys going to be like horrible because of tungsten rod? Like they're not going to accomplish anything, right? Like, this, now that you're doing one damage, you're actually doing zero. Well, I mean, we put up enough block to begin with, but even if you got your attacks through, I don't think they would have done anything.
I kind of want to play Meteor Strike. <laughs> but it's the wrong play. It's funny, but it's the wrong play. Come on, man. You, you got to give me a little something more than this. I guess that's the, the downside to uh, foreign influences, like on these longer fights. It's kind of becomes a little bit more dubious. You're doing you're doing enough damage to annoy me. I think I would rather just get this out here. Give you a little extra weakness. Like I mean, th this enemy is literally like they don't exist right now. Um, and we could kill you, but we do have to put up enough block to stay. Up. I mean, you're not uh, like your problem right now. You're not like doing anything to me. Although, you're actually gonna. Mm, I don't know, maybe not. Let me look at this. We took a very slight amount of damage. I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm like, I'm okay with it. Check this out, okay? Eruption. This does 48 damage. You won't be dead yet. How are you alive? Like, this is so stupid. Just be killed, okay? Like, that's... This is the way it's supposed to go here. Get this garbage out of my face. Go ahead and do nothing to... What, we didn't even take, like, very much damage on this fight. And it, and it is pretty much, like, over here. Um, we didn't take very much damage. It's just annoying that it's so long. Like... I don't want this meteor strike, man. What am I supposed to do with this thing? It doesn't... There's no words on it. Come on, man. I mean, in all honesty, this is actually a great uh, proof of concept for how the... Oh, you gotta play that first, man. Come on. This is a great proof of concept for how this deck works right now because we we did stay in there we did really well uh an upgraded fasting hmm hmm it's an interesting idea right i think if we got orange pellets we could we could purge the debuff from fasting i think i'm willing to try uh we don't have orange pellets here. That's okay. We want to do some serious damage, right? We do play a lot of skills. I feel like a letter opener does really well for us in that sense. I'm not disappointed by the spending there. Would you like to duplicate a card in your deck? What an interesting question. Um, I definitely think right now a duplicated foreign influence is going to give us a lot of pace. I'll be happy to see it. In theory, um, one of the best ways to take advantage of that is to uh, is to actually draw it, mm, but it's it's not always that easy, you know. It's not always that easy. I guess we will just smack you, and we're not going to worry too much about a lesson learned against this guy right here. We're going to worry a lot more about like a foreign influence uh, into. The unknown. Ah, uh, just store this bad boy, okay? You know what? No, just store it. You're doing the right thing. Like this third eye is gonna be exceptional. And then the next third eye, yeah, an eruption and a foreign influence on the next turn. Your days are numbered. Your days are numbered. We love it. Just a great attack. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you're dead. I'm tempted to take another stance uh, disabler, but we're working on it for now. Blood for blood. Hey, that's that's a great get right here. 22 damage. Little man, put that stuff in my hand. We're trying to make sure we got good stuff for our next turn. This stuff is pretty good. Um, I, I'd really, I would, I would feel comfortable 
sacrificing a little HP to get a lesson learned out there, I think. Yeah, we got a campfire coming up anyway. Then I think we can cut through fate. I mean, this is a 26 damage cut through fate. And we we want to draw a talk to the hand next turn, probably. So this seems... I, you might just be dead. You're you're definitely uh, dead. So that's pretty sick. That, that went really well. Skill potion, you love to see it. I will take an upgraded evaluate. Are we a little draw heavy or a little block heavy? Probably. <laughs> Do I care? I might, but for now, I, I feel like this is our, our best chance. <clears throat> okay. Flurry of Blows. We don't need the lesson learned. This this is like a letter opener situation, I think. Get this going. Get you, get you one of these. Get this going. Go ahead and give me a foreign influence. Uh, I'll, I'll take a sucker punch on this one. And I'm just gonna get you. I hate to I hate to spend on it. This next turn was gonna be absolutely horrible. Um, so to be able to to scry through that stuff feels amazing to me. Now don't forget you got a potion back in you up here. That's a gimme. Seems like a great time to play a dagger spray. Don't want to see it. Do want to see it. One away from this. Okay, you know, it's pretty minor, but to make sure that that enemy dies, I'm okay with this. You're going to rally, and I, I would expect nothing less. Let's go with a quick potion. <laughs> okay, so that's 15 block. I think you'll play a fast thing to make it even better. It's 16 block. Let's get a wave of the hand evaluate going out here. This is now a kill. You're doing 31 damage. We got 30 block, which means we're actually taking zero, which is all oh, so sad for us because we don't get to play our, uh, we don't get to, to, to get Centennial Puzzle out there. We still have a lesson learned, just like burning a hole in my pocket right now. You gotta start cut through fate, I think. Uh, lesson learned's not gonna get us there on this turn, so we're just gonna we're gonna stall slightly. Uh, I definitely feel like a sucker punch is pretty good. You're doing 36. We're still gonna get hit quite badly, but I mean only for 17, which actually with tungsten rod is probably like I don't know like 15. I'm mad. I'm no longer mad. We're gonna get there. I didn't think we were going to get to that lesson learned. We certainly do not need a second fasting, I think. But maybe in my head, I'm like, mm, wouldn't that be something? Two fastings. I don't think we can do it, man. Establishment. We don't have any retained cards right now, so it's it's worth nothing. I think this is a this is a heavy skip energy. Always love to see a bludgeon, man. It it just changes the game to be able to get one of those out there. And now it's in our deck as well. So even better. Uh, these are all pretty bad. Wouldn't mind, I guess, getting a talk to the hand. We're really just trying to put you in, like, less than learnable situation next turn. This this run is coming together. It's, it's our most successful run of the day. And yet... So we 100% want lesson learned next turn. I think this is fine then. Um, it's our most successful run of the day by far, and yet it, it's taken the longest to get there as well. Which is a little weird for me, but definitely working out just fine. I think we just play third eye. Actually, you know what? Like, just keep those, keep all the attacks up there. And then a miracle, and then another third eye. And yeah, you're, you're like super dead next turn. I think we'd probably rather rest than fight another elite. I think maybe my elite aggression caused me the problem that we got into last time. Are we, that, we have one problem right now, which is that foreign influence. When it doesn't pay out with good attacks, we, we find ourselves in very dangerous situations. 
So let's take an empty body. I know we're block heavy. Like, I love a potion belt, by the way, for the possibility, although <clears throat> it's, uh, sure, let's do it. We're, we're, we're fishing pretty deep for it. But I, I love a, a potion bell for the possibility of like a toy ornithopter for potions for those final boss fights in theory. If we get there on eight, uh, you, you gotta play uh, Wave of the Hand first on that one. That's a little embarrassing. Why don't you give me an empty body? Let's see if we can pop out of this. Like this pays for itself, brings this back. There is a, a, a world where foreign influence just kills you, and I think this is that world. We got a little lucky there, but I, ha I had a contingency plan. Let's get an inner peace as well. You know, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, but here I am doing it. Love to see it. Keep that defend up. The only reason I suggest that is because we have uh, that, that speed potion that could help us get out of a jam. Probably take a quick slash here. It's unfortunate. I really want to play the eruption, but this is actually quite nice. We definitely don't want uh, to get any wounds in our deck. So to give you six turns of weakness is actually freaking sweet. Glass knife is going to help us out a lot. We can vigilance. Did we not play a? a, a am I stupid? <laughs> Let's get a fast thing going. I was like, did we not play a, uh... I thought we played a talk to the hand, but I, I guess I'm mistaken. Let's... No, because we like these cards. Yeah, I, I think we're okay with those cards. You only have 63 HP. That's, not, that's nothing, man. We're not sweating that. Uh, you gotta play talk to the hand first. Please don't speak to me. I'm embarrassed. Do not perceive me right now. Next turn, you're dead. We're, we're hoping, again, excuse me, did I not change stance there? Am I am I having some kind of uh, embolism? Like, I, I I thought I had you. Anyway, you're dead. That was a great elite fight. I'm, I'm glad we did it. Thankfully, we got an upgraded strike, which is pretty valuable. <clears throat> With the talk to the hand, I'll take a second flurry of blows. This also allows us to go to the shop. Certainly don't need a second lesson learned. <laughs> um, it's pretty minor. I think we could do with a Juzu bracelet. To me, that seems like the best... Oh, you son of a gun. It seems like the best way for us to survive um, <clears throat> on the next floor. Like, like, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's enter Vigilance, though. Just, just to be there. Now, remember, this is all about block. If you can just keep yourself, like, blocked up, you got nothing to worry about here. We can, like, flurry of blows. That's a nice block. We can empty body. That's a nice block. That's some nice block right there. We could play this up. That's some nice block. We will take one damage, thus triggering Centennial Puzzle in the exact optimal way. Will, uh, foreign influence? Mm, tantrum's a little spicy. But you go ahead and hit me with just a basic slice. Then we'll get one of these out here. Some nice little weakness attached. Nice little weakness attached to it. Very helpful for me personally. Nice little weakness attached. This is where you want an eruption to work with your lesson learned. We can't afford to stall. And we're not going to get letter opener, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can afford to stall. What are we getting next turn? Honestly, like if we... If we play something like this... 
maybe we can afford the stall. We're doing 18 damage. Okay, so the stall is still ongoing. Now just give me a lesson learned. Bro, I'm committed. I'm committed on this one, okay? I'm not trying to cause any... No! No! We had no reason to play it. After everything we've been through. I'll take another upgraded empty body. Like, I know we got problems here. Our deck is too... Um, is too blocky and not attacky enough. But hey, that's where you just have to rely on never having a foreign influence steer you wrong, right? As long as that happens, you got nothing to worry about. If I, and this will sound like I'm being um, needlessly negative, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, I love this next upcoming turn. That's fine with me. Uh, but I, I think we're probably going to lose to the champ just due to like a lack of sustain here. But I could be wrong. A, a free clothesline is something. Um, we want to, like, this... Oh, we, you gotta play your flurry of blows first there, man. Then we will enter back into this stance. Then we'll play fasting. I just wanted to make sure we had the energy necessary for everything. And next turn, just make sure you're in a good spot. Those are some good cards to draw. Clothesline was a solid get. I'm not disappointed by that. Uh, I... Two energy beam cell... Or, sorry, two energy searing blow is, is tough. I think instead we'll take the beam cell because the vulnerability might even be worth more. Don't want to see that defend next turn. Okay, you're not like attacking at all, which is pretty sweet. We need to draw a flurry of blows because our, our, our deck could come around. I can live with this. Next turn, we need to be able to exit stance or put up a staggering amount of block. We got a lot of uh, stance exiters. I'm not too concerned. I'm uh, upset. <laughs> there we go. There's the stance exiter. I knew it would show up. There was never a doubt in my mind, like I said. Um, we Clothesline is good for us. I don't know if we're going to have the energy, though. I, I think that this next draw that we got set up is actually pretty sick. You're taking another turn off. That's that's wonderful. So here, wave of the hand, vigilance. I'm dumb. Uh, well, let, let's make sure our next turn is good. Those are not good enough. Eight strength, but you're still not attacking, which is like is very helpful. Draw an eruption, please. Inner peace could get you to eruption. Okay, now we're talking. Beam cell. Flurry of blows. Flurry of blows. Eruption. Flurry of blows. Flurry of blows. Strike. Third eye to make sure you get the best cards possible next time. Uh, I think we can do better, believe it or not. He takes a turn off, obviously. Beam cell. Flurry of blows. Inner peace. Flurry of blows. Empty body. Flurry of blows. You know what? Let's get that lesson learned out there just in case. This is it's gone pretty well, actually. I can't deny the wellness. That's 90 damage. Uh, but how do you, where do you uh, get off? Doing 90 damage? Like we're, we're gonna die? What? How do you do 90 damage? All right, well, uh, thanks for watching. I'm mad. I, do, I don't think I've ever seen you do that much. I was not even. I was not even in the wrath stance, was I? I'm just. I'm just clicking randomly. <laughs> I'm so mad. Like, what the heck happened, man? I don't. I, I, I'm. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. They don't want you to win. <laughs>